we're going to learn how to draw the four Ninja Turtles. We're going to draw their heads and uh, we're going to need a piece of paper folded in fours, just like so. You're going to need a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, one fine tip and one medium point if you have it and crayons or markers or colored pencils. Today's lesson we're going to learn how to sketch the four Ninja Turtles, Michelangelo, Donatello, Leonardo, Raphael. We're going to draw each one in one quadrant of our paper. And then we're going to outline them in black marker and color them in. And we're going to create it in the style of Andy Warhol's pop art paintings uh, using complementary colors for the background um, and the masks. The basic shape of a Ninja Turtle head is a circle or an oval. I like to start by using an oval shape and then I build out the nose the mask, the, the mouth, and the top of the head around this oval. Okay, so we're gonna start by sketching on an oval. When sketching, you need to use light pressure with your pencil so that you're not making really, really dark marks because there's going to be a lot of erasing to make adjustments. So the first thing we're gonna do is sketch out our oval. And we don't want it to touch the sides or the bottom just yet. We're gonna put it in the middle of our rectangle. So we're just sketching out an oval. So for some of you, you might wanna sketch it this way. You can draw half the oval this way, half the oval that way, just to start shaping it out. You don't need it to be really dark. Just figure out the space, the, the size that we want to draw. The next step is to draw the top of the nose. Okay, so I'm going to be drawing somewhere over here in my oval, the top of what I would call the nose on the turtle. So it's just another curved line. And once I have my oval sketched in and this line, I can start figuring out where I wanna put my eyes. And I'm gonna draw this turtle. So this is the turtle. We're gonna start with this Michelangelo turtle. <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep my sketch up here, my reference photo. Now I'm going to draw an oval. So I'm put my pencil right here and I'm going to draw an oval standing up for an eye. And then I'm gonna space out, I'm gonna eyeball how far apart I want my other eye to be and I'm gonna put another oval over here. And for this face, facial expression, this is the shape of the oval that I need maybe a little bit skinnier on the inside. Okay, remember I'm gonna erase a lot of the extra lines. Uh, once I have my eyes sketched in, that's just the white part of the eye, I wanna sketch in another oval. That's gonna represent the pupil, the black part of the eye. And I'm gonna put them like so. And then I'm gonna draw another small oval. So I'm using a lot of ovals today and that's going to be my highlight so if i want to once i like my eyes i can shade in with my pencil so that i know that part is going to stay black on my eye i notice one eye is a little taller than the other so i could bring this one up the next step is i'm going to draw the top of the mask and i can actually use the top of my oval that I had drawn for the top 
portion of the mask, but I'm only gonna draw this line to here. I'm gonna leave space in between because now I need to draw a curved line above my eye. That's all part of the mask. And now I'm going to bring my mask around like so. And I'm going to darken up my line so you can see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to draw another line like so. It's all part of my mask. My mask is going to come out from this part of the nose. So now I have my mask sketched in without the bow and I don't have the top of the head sketched in yet. And now I'm gonna reshape the bottom. I'm gonna start to reshape the bottom of the face here. Once I have the sides of the mask drawn in where I want them to stop and look like they're wrapping around the head, I'm going to just bring out my face a little bit more this way and this way with a diagonal line that kind of curves. So I'm still going for that like oval, but it's now it's more like a football shape. Bring it down a little bit more. Not quite, I don't want to touch the fold. I just want to connect these. So now I have a basic shape of my face without the mouth, without the top of the head, and I wanna erase the old oval. Before I start getting really confused, I wanna get rid of those old lines. I can get rid of any sketchy lines that I don't want. Clean up my drawing. Now I'm gonna sketch in the mouth. This is a simple mouth. It's just a curved line somewhere in the center, a little below the center of the oval. So I'm gonna start with a curve. I wanna look at where it ends and how close to the sides it should be. And then I'm gonna bring the bottom, the opening of the mouth. And I'm gonna start it, not at the end, but I'm gonna bring it in a little bit here, bring it in a little bit here. Now I know how wide I want it to be. And I'm just going to bring it down. And I'm going to sketch it out. And if I need it to be a little longer, I can make it a little, I can open it some more if I want to. Just like so. And then I can erase the part I don't want just to leave one line. Cartooning, you should have a clean line at the end. Well, we're going to outline with a black marker. We'll erase the pencil lines. And then I want to just make a little curve line here to represent my chin. That goes past the bottom of the oval. So now I have a basic Ninja Turtle face and I just have to put the top of the head in and um, the bow. I don't have room really over here, but I have a little more room here. So I think I'm gonna switch it up and I'm gonna put my bow, the tie on this side. I hope that's okay for now. If you wanna put yours here, you could just make it smaller. The next thing I need to do is draw another curved line for the top of my head. So when sketching cartoons, it's a lot like putting pieces of a puzzle together. So each line becomes shapes and the shapes you build like you're putting a puzzle together. That's the best way I can describe it. And you just lightly sketch because, you know, if you draw your curve in a direction that you don't want it to be in, you can easily erase it and change it. Okay, now I'm gonna, just for visual purposes so that you can see this better, when I draw the bow, I draw a rounded square. Okay, so this shape becomes like a rounded square and then I'm gonna draw like a leaf shape coming out from the bottom with a curved line and a curved line, almost like a, sort of like an S kind of shape. I'll draw two creases inside of that to make it look like it's pinching or scrunching. And then I'll draw the other piece going down. So I draw my leaf shape pointing down on this one. On this, um, on uh, over here in this example, 
we can zoom in on the bottom, there's no bow. So sometimes they don't show the bow, so. Again, a line here and a line here in the center. And lastly, I need to put the tongue in. And the tongue usually comes in from either one side or the other. This tongue looks like it's coming in from the left. So I'm gonna draw a curve line and another curve line. And I let this line, it's like almost like drawing two hills in a landscape. And this would represent the center of the tongue. Okay, so there you have one Ninja Turtle sketched in. So my practice page over here, you'll notice that each Ninja Turtle has a different expression. So I have like two smiling happy and two like fierce, ferocious, you know, they're, they're trying to get the bad guys. So uh, I'm going to show you the different ways that you can uh, change the shapes of the mouths and even the eyes to show different expressions. Now I'm going to draw Donatello and I'm going to use the same principle. I'm going to start by drawing an oval in the center of my paper. And I don't wanna to be too close to the top. I wanna to have room for the top of the head. I also wanna make sure I have room for the bottom because his mouth is going to appear to be more open. So start with my basic oval, like an egg shape. And then I'm gonna draw my nose and I'm gonna draw it a little bit further down than I did the last time. And it's just a curve. So you have, again, very simple, an oval and then the curve. And the curve represents this right here and then we're gonna line up our eyes. <clears throat> so if you notice on the first turtle, the eyes tilted out. This time we're gonna tilt the eyes in. The ovals are gonna tilt in. So I want to pick a spot on that curve and I'm going to draw my eyes to tilt inward to the center. And then space it out and do another one, just like so. Draw the pupils. Draw the highlight. Color it in. Remember, I'm just sketching. Some of these pencil lines will be gone after I outline with a Sharpie marker. The next step is the mask. If you notice on this mask, I'm curving the lines back. So it looks like it wraps around the head this way. So it's different than this one. These curved down, they're wrapping around that way. These are curving up. Also the eyes are tilted more inward. Now I'm gonna reshape the face. The face on this Ninja Turtle is different on the sides and the chin really comes down a lot. So I wanna reshape that before I put the mouth in. We use the same steps, oval, curved line, ovals for the eyes, but 
because the eyes are placed on different angles and the mask is even pointed in, it looks like it's wrapping around the head in a different way. And we changed the shape of the bottom of the face. Now the turtles look like they're two different characters. And they're both happy, but they both have different expression uh, as well. They're still happy, but their expression looks different. So they look like two different turtles. And that's really what you want. You don't want all four of them to look exactly the same. Now we're gonna move on to a sketch of the Raphael. And um, in this one, he is looking down. His, his top lip or the top part of his mouth kind of covers part of his teeth and he's gritting his teeth. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Um, but we need to get um, him drawn in so that we see more of the top of the head so that he looks like he's looking down a little bit. We're gonna start with a basic oval again. In order to get it to look like he's looking down, I actually have to start this curved line, this curved line that we've been starting with for the second step. It has to be further down, more than halfway down. So we're gonna start with it down here. Kind of helps to scrunch up the face and make it look like he's looking downward. Once I've determined that, I'm going to draw in my ovals. They're gonna change a little bit. They're pointing outward, but I'm gonna put a bend in it here. So one goes out this way. I'm gonna put a bend. See how I'm doing that? And one goes out this way. Still an oval, tipped out like this, but they're a little bit different. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start wrapping the mask around the top of the head, okay? But uh, yeah, so I wanna do the top of the mask and then I'm probably gonna throw in the top of the head and then wrap these lines around. So it's a little bit different than what I did last time. Okay, so you can see by changing the position of the lines uh, where I put them in relationship to the oval, it changes the perspective. Uh, you don't see the top of this head as much as you see the top of this head. Um, the eyes are similar. They're both pointing on diagonals outwards, but I put them further down. So it really looks like he's looking down. You see more of the top of the head. If I feel like I don't have enough of the top of the head sketched in, I could, I could bring it out a little bit more. I could bring it up a little bit more. That's something you kind of will finesse as you are sketching, making adjustments. And you don't even have to do that right now. And you just wanna get rid of all the old lines so that you're not getting confused. And now we're gonna put the mouth in. And for the mouth, I'm going to start here. I'm actually going to be overlapping some of this. Um, so I, I hope you don't get confused. Just pay attention. And we're going to start right here. See where I made my mark? Right here. And I'm going to bring it down. And then I'll make another mark here and bring it down. Okay, so now we have to create a mouth. And I can actually use the part of this old oval like this and bring it to here. And then go like this, almost like leaf shape. Okay, do you, do you see what I did here? 
I drew a shape here, so I drew this line. And then I drew a leaf shape here and a leaf shape here. Now I wanna reshape the bottom of my face before I put the teeth in so that you understand it a little bit better. So we're gonna come from here and I'm gonna bring it out. Now I want the bottom of this, I'm bringing out the oval on the bottom, I'm gonna make it flat on the bottom. And I'm gonna bring this out and make it flat on the bottom. So there's my new lines, I'll make them a little darker. I'm gonna erase all the old lines. Now I'm gonna draw the teeth. So the teeth can be a little tricky if your vertical lines, um, these vertical lines don't curve. So the first thing we put in is a horizontal curve that separates the top teeth from the bottom teeth. We put it right in the middle, but it has to curve. And now we're going to put in some rows of teeth. Watch, see how I'm curving this line? Top, bottom top, bottom, top, bottom. This corner of the mouth, it's very important to color that in dark. Okay. <clears throat> and then again, over here, we'll start right about here. Curve line in this direction. Top, bottom, top, bottom, top, bottom. And color in this. I have to give a shout out to my friend Kim and I. We drew a lot of Ninja Turtles over the years. After college, we worked in a place called an elephant's trunk where we had to draw cartoons on children's toys and Sterilite boxes and all these you know, plastic uh, bins and things like that. So we got a lot of practice on all of these cartoon characters and things that we had to draw as artists working freelance after we graduated art school. So there you have it. You have three different Ninja Turtles now with three different expressions, and now we're gonna work on our last one. I have Michelangelo, I have Donatello, I have Raphael, and now I have a really determined Leonardo. So for Leonardo, his face is really round, but again, I'm gonna start with an oval over here. More towards the bottom of my quadrant, I'm gonna keep this oval down here because he has very expressionistic eyes and I want to make sure that I'm able to capture the height of them. So I wanna keep my oval down here. So I have a lot of space in this top portion of my quadrant. Once I have this oval sketched in, I'm gonna come down and I'm just gonna draw the top of what I feel is going to make the nose on his face. And now his eyes are going to point outward again, but they're gonna be a little bit more angular. So I'm gonna start with one line here and one line here. I wanna determine the angle and the height of those eyes before I actually shape them out. They're still gonna be rounded, but it's more like a round rectangle. And not that he looks, he looks a little angry or determined as we learned from Jean St. Jean in our video with our uh, Marvel sculptor talking about creating a determined look and not such a mean and nasty look. So our Ninja Turtles, um, they're definitely determined to get the bad guy. So we wanna make their eyes look more determined, not super mean. So hopefully um, Jean thinks that we're doing a good job. I'll have to ask him. We get our pupils drawn in, our highlights. Notice our highlights are in the same part of each pupil. I have them both on the right upper portion. And now I'm gonna to start to sketch out the mask. Curve line between the eyes on this one. And then I'm gonna come up and follow 
the shape of the eye, come up, follow the shape of the eye. This line does not touch the eye. There's space in between about a quarter of an inch. And then this mask is going to be similar to the one that we did in the first one where it angles down and wraps around the head, the back of the head on an angle down. It's not going up, okay? But we still do see the top of his head as well. Okay, so for this one, his teeth are really clinching a little more than this one. So I, I really want to accent the sides of the cheeks as like, so that they look more round and like they're puffing out, like really, uh, like he's really gritting his teeth. So I'm bringing these cheeks out a little bit more. And I'm going to bring the chin down almost to the bottom of the quadrant. I'm running out of room. I'll erase my old lines. And I'm going to put the mouth in. I'm going to start similar to the way I just did the last one. And um, I'm going to make a mark here. And I'm going to make a mark here. So artists sometimes make marks, figure out where they want to put things, start and stop a line. So I'm doing some mark making right now. Now for the teeth, it's a little bit different. So you're just going to have to kind of follow along with me on this side. I'm going to bring it out and loop it up. Okay, so that looks like the, the lip goes up underneath the top lip. The bottom lip is going to be up underneath. This top lip really overlaps. I, I want to make this a little wider too before I draw any more. So sometimes if you see where like you need to make an adjustment before you do any more details, it's better to fix it before you add the details and then you have to erase a bunch of stuff. So let me fix that. And then here on this side, I'm going to come up and bring it bring it in, bring it down, and then I'm gonna go back up. Almost like wings, okay? I wanna make sure these lines don't touch my face. I can reshape these one more time. And now I'm gonna draw a line here and a curved line here from the corner of the mouth out. And I'm not drawing as many teeth on this side I'm just drawing one, two, or maybe one, two. This gets colored in. I mean, I guess you probably could fit in one, two over here. And now again, start here, very close to the corner of the mouth. One, two, color in the corner. One, two, one, two. So, on this phase, there's more corner of the mouth exposed where you see more of the inside of the mouth. Over here, you see less, you see more teeth, okay? So the expression is definitely different. Um, and what I could do is then just reshape my head a little bit and then I really ran out of room for my, I made my faces a little on the big side for this one. I ran out of room for my ties. I was gonna put it up here. See, that's the wrong spot. So I wanna bring it down. I always wanna have the tie like in between where this overlaps in here. 
Um, I'll squeeze one in like that. It's a little small and I'll let this one go off the paper like a Georgia O'Keeffe flower. That's fine. And if I want to, I'm just going to draw this tie here. I don't even see the the knot. I'll put it in here and then I'll put one like this. This is really small. I ran out of room. But there you have it for Ninja Turtles. And now all we have to do is outline with a black marker. So now you should have four Ninja Turtles sketched on your paper, outlined in a black marker or a colored pencil or a black pen, any type of black ink pen. A permanent is best because if you're going to use marker, you don't really want it to smudge. And sometimes even if it's permanent, if you draw on copy paper like I did today, we could still smudge. You could use markers. This was done in marker. You can use crayons to color in your Ninja Turtle. Um, their faces are green. You want to stick to a lighter green. Try not to use a dark green because you'll lose your black outlines. Tongues are like a reddish pink color. And then the masks, of course, it depends on which Ninja Turtle is which. And you're going to make each mask a different color. It'll either be a purple, blue, orange, or red. And then your background color should be a complementary color um, for the mask. It shouldn't be the same color as the mask. So blue's complement is orange. Orange's complement is blue. Red's complement is green. Just use a different green than you used in the turtle's head. And uh, purple's complement would be yellow. So for the purple mask, you would have a yellow background. Well, there you have it, folks. There's our four Ninja Turtles. And I hope you enjoyed our lesson today on how to draw the four Ninja Turtle heads. And I hope you realize that they're named after the four most famous Renaissance artists. And until we meet again, so long for now. Bye.